We've been live before, but this is a new series that we're trying to do every week to keep you informed. So this live video series is specifically designed for CMOs and marketing professionals that want to learn how to innovate their marketing. The people that want to be able to generate leads, nurture leads into clients, and then transform those clients into brand ambassadors. So as we're waiting uh, for people to kind of sign on, I want to kind of tell you guys how to find us. All right, so if you're on YouTube, you can just type in Ferrotech. So we're youtube.com slash Ferrotech. On Twitter, we have two different handles, twitter.com slash Ferrotech, or you can reach my own personal handle, which is twitter.com slash Chris Carr. It's actually Chris underscore Carr. And then finally, you can also reach us on our website, which is www.ferrotech.com. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna talk a little bit about motivation particularly sales motivation and marketing motivation. So I'm sure that you've heard of the analogy from Eric Thomas where he talks about the lion and the gazelle. But just in case you haven't, I'm gonna kinda of sum it up. So the point of his story or his analogy, it starts out with the gazelle. You see, this, the gazelle, he starts out every morning running and then he pretty much stops. And the only time that he really starts running again is if he's being chased or he's being chased by a lion or somebody else that wants to eat him. So basically all his motivation is an outward motivation. It's, it, it comes from outside of himself. All right. Now the lion is very different. All right. The lion does not need outside influence. He pushes himself. He realizes that he has to constantly be on the chase. He has to constantly be moving because if he doesn't, if he doesn't catch that gazelle, he doesn't eat, his pride doesn't eat, it's a big problem. All right, so what it really comes down to is it comes down to your passion. It comes down to your why. All right, so I wanna take this one step farther and what we called our lesson today is the lion and the herdebeest. That's right, I said it, herdebeest. I had never heard of what a herdebeest was either. You might be saying, what the heck is a herdebeest? I had never even heard of one. But I did have the luxury to go on a safari in East Africa. And when I was in Uganda, we're looking around this huge safari and I'm like, what is that animal? I've never seen it before. And the tour guide said, oh, that's a herd of beast. I was like, oh, what makes that special? And he goes, actually, it's probably one of the dumbest animals in the, in the safari. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, what, what, what makes it so dumb? And he says, all right, so this is how a herd of beast works. Is he's just out and he's grazing and he's, he's trying to get food. And then all of a sudden, a lion starts chasing him. And he's fast, and he starts outrunning the lion like crazy, and he's outrunning him, he's outrunning him. But one of the problems with the herd of beast is he has an extremely short attention span. And so he's outrunning the lion, he's outrunning the lion, and then all of a sudden he forgets why he's running. And he stops, and he just starts eating and stuff like that. And the lion, who was much slower than him, actually catches him and then catches up to him and mauls him. It's crazy and it happens all the time. It's like probably one of the number one things that lions eat. So you might be thinking, that's crazy, right? What a stupid animal. But what I find, even with myself and the clients that I, that I help, is, is that we do the exact same thing. I mean, how many times do we create really great marketing collateral, we spend a lot of time, energy, and money on it, and then two months later, four months later, a year later, it's pretty much sitting on the shelf. It's not even doing anything for us. It happens all the time. We don't look at our website. We don't look at our analytics. We don't look at our collateral. We don't figure out what our buyer personas are, but we expect to be winning in marketing. It's crazy. It's nuts. So here's the deal is, is that companies come to me all the time and they say, Chris, I really need Ferrotech to help us transform our sales and our marketing. And you know what? I think to myself, okay, that's great. Let's take a deep dive. So tell me about your website. Oh, our website sucks. Don't worry about our website. Well, how's your collateral? Oh, no, don't look at our collateral either. It's outdated. It doesn't work. Okay, great. Well, then I'm assuming you got a good email list so that we can start to do some drip marketing. No, we really don't have a list either. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. It's like we know the essentials of marketing. We know what it takes to win, but for some reason, we just forget that we need to keep running. Just like the herd of beast, we just forget or something. We just stop running. We stop staying motivated. And then something comes, something comes our way, like we have a dip in sales or, 
or basically profits are down and we have to figure a way to, to drive it back up again. But the reality is, is, is that we have, to be, we, we have to be in a spot where we keep running. We have to be very intentional about our marketing and we have to set clear goals and clear expectations. And then when you set expectations, inspect what you expect. Let me say that again. Set expectations and then inspect what you expect. All right, so people often come to me and they, they're, they're using the analogy, well, people say don't sweat the small stuff. If you're saying that and you're in marketing, you're wrong. I disagree with that statement completely. I find that the companies that analyze their data, that look at the small stuff, the KPIs that, that generate leads and traffic, that transform their website and their SEO, those are the companies that win. And we help companies like that stay awake we, we help companies not forget the details that make them really successful. So if you're watching this video, that's what I want for you, all right? I want you to be able to, to think in your mind to say, how do I develop a system that effectively calculates the success of my marketing, that clearly analyzes my goals and the KPIs to get there? Then I highly recommend, if you don't have a system like that, to stop what you're doing, stop marketing. Get that stuff figured out before you start marketing again. If you don't know what your goals are and you don't know what your KPIs are and you don't know who your buyer personas are, basically you're on a one-way ticket to nowhere. All right? So I hope you enjoyed what we, what we talked about today. In future videos, I'm going to walk through this stuff step by step. All right? So if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe below. If you're on Facebook, um, and you liked what you've heard, make sure that you like our page and, and share our content. Um, people that like our content are basically going to hear from us every single week. We're going um, to be able to get videos like this right to your door. Now, if you're a company that, that doesn't know where to start and they need help and you want to get an analysis on your company, how to create leads, and how to create a system that's going to basically reach your goals, please private message me, give me a shout, we'll be more than happy to help you. Um, so you can do that uh, by private messaging me on Facebook or you can go to our website at www.ferratech.com. All right, so I'm signing out. This is Chris Carr with Ferratech and I, uh, I, I look forward to seeing you next time.